Judgment is mine, says the Lord. Never is the title. Judgment is mine, says the Lord. Never allow what somebody has done to you in the past or has done to your parents in the past. Guide whatever your actions respond to him today. If you do so, you're not going to go unpunished. In the book of Amos 1, 11, verses 11, the people of Edom chased the children of Israel, like, slicing them mercilessly without having pity on them, over and over. And for that, God says, you are not going to go unpunished. Understand this. The children of Edomite, the Edomites, were the children of, sorry, Esau. Esau was supposed to actually be the firstborn. And he was supposed to have all the blessings. Somehow, Jacob tricked him out of his blessings. Instead of showing him brothers, brotherly, brotherly love, Jacob insisted that for him to treat his brother, his brother had to give him his best right. In the end, when it was time for blessing, Jacob also tricked his brother out of his own blessing. So, it is possible that when the Edomites saw the Israelites trying to pass through them after their slavery in Egypt, they felt that the Edomites, the Israelites rather, were once more trying to play the trick that their father played on their own father. And this time around, they did what in Nigeria we call Kaikino Vileda. You have to be a Nigerian to understand what I mean by Kaikino Vileda. Become a Nigerian to know what that means. They decided not to be hostile. They won't allow themselves to be taken advantage of the second time. And therefore, they came out with their knives, not allowing the Israelites to take over their land, knowing how the Israelites took their, their birthright through Jacob. And my goodness, were they after them. They went after them. I never had mercy on them. God said, for that, you were not going to go unpunished. There are people who have done so many things to you in the past. And the only way to handle them is to forgive them. God expects you to forgive them. If you don't forgive them, and you want to revenge, because God has given you opportunity to handle them, you might end up finding yourself not going unpunished. Like God says with Edomites, we're going to go unpunished. If you want to help people, always pray that God should tell you whether you help them or not. There are people that God will not help you help. Jesus Christ, though he had power, there were people he did not help. He came to a place full of sick people. It was one person he picked. There were a lot of blind people. He did not, he did not heal all of them. It was those whom God said he should, that he healed, despite his own power. So you won't be wrong to have to wait on God to tell you whom to help and whom not to help. So that you will not regret someday. As when you, after ha having helped people, start grumbling, the blessings attached to your health in them is no longer counted to you. So always make sure that you allow judgment to God. And before you help somebody, be sure what God has asked you to do it. And if you help somebody and that person never is thankful, act like a Christian and don't retaliate. Don't revenge. For God will rather you allow him to judge on your behalf. I pray that those whom have been cheated, and I have been cheated too, we will all not allow what has been done to us to get into us so much so that we will decide to take judgment into our heads instead of allowing God to. I'm a Christian today because of this fact that you should allow justice to be God. I find it difficult to do it, but then God wants us to. If you decide to punish someone because of what his parents have done to him, it reminds me of when we were in the secondary school. A senior whom you've done nothing to because one senior did something to him when he was a junior, 
will take it on you. To me, it was barbaric. And if you ask my own genius, those I, I was with them in secondary school, they will tell you, I might be bad, but I never took advantage of them or harmed them because I was a senior, simply because somebody harmed me. Let us not harm people because others before harmed us. Father, we pray you will help us to do this much. We should never allow ourselves to take judgment, justice into our hands. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.